trusted or not. Important starting points for brands. Important starting points for marketing and communications professionals in the way that we think about programming that will drive business forward. Look at the difference in the trust for an oil brand, an oil company, versus a renewables company. It's not, not editorial, it's just it's what the numbers say. Again, our business leaders need facts as starting point. We believe this creates a good fact to start a conversation about what is necessary. Here's a look at market data from Spain for an expanded list of, of company of industries, 2013 to 2014. Your big mover, energy, 48 to 36, down 12 points. High prices, uh, as I understand it, a, a, a significant driver in that. Look at banks remaining six points down at 16. 16 for banks, 68 for entertainment and technology. A 52-point spread and the starting point of trust for a brand, for an enterprise, depending upon the industry from which they come. Industry, an extremely important factor. Second factor, country of origin. What is that, what is that national identity of the company, of the brand? Most trusted multinational in the world, a German multinational. Eight in ten global respondents say they trust a German multinational. One in three trust a multinational based in Mexico. Spain, the most trusted non-brick. Um, the least trusted developed market, western market, at 53, with South Korea and Italy. In the middle of the pack, if you will. This 50% line you often see on these slides is, in, is a, just a reference point for us as a trust threshold. Right? Third lens that we look at in terms of trust is ownership type. Um, it, as you may or may not know, um, Edelman is a family-owned, privately held company. Um, I joke that our CEO wanted this uh, question included because he thought that this would prove out. He was right. <laughs> the most trusted enterprise type in the world, global findings, 71% for family-owned business. Publicly traded, least at 54. 76% trust in the EU for family-owned businesses. Look at uh, the Asia-Pacific numbers by comparison. Big business, state-owned, 74, 63. Creators of wealth, creators of opportunity is the perception of the respondent set there, right? Not the family business is the driver. For this market specifically, a, a critically important number, given the predominance of family-owned uh, uh, companies with, within country, a tremendous leverageable asset from a branding, marketing, communication standpoint to stress the values and the heritage behind that company and how it behaves. And here's a, here's a deeper look into the region and, and the country. Look at this, family-owned 77. Three in four respondents have trust for a family-owned business, while less than one in two trust big business, while less almost one in three trust the state-owned. So how we position and think about ourselves and our clients is extremely important in describing the values and the way we innately operate, who we are as an enterprise. And why is that? Well, what, well, what, what are behavioral associations? Because we wanted to understand that a little bit more. What makes a uh, publicly traded versus a privately held family owned more attractive? Well, more than one, more than 54% or 54% compared to 40% believe that privately held are more responsive to customers' needs. 62% believe that privately held are entrepreneurial. 58% believe they're innovative. I, they're, publicly traded does win on having too much political influence. Uh, three in four respondents say that publicly traded, those bigger companies have too much political influence. Look at this, room to work, philanthropic. This is your market data, Spain. 21% and 17%, neither good numbers, believe that publicly traded and privately held are philanthropic enterprises. So clearly, opportunity to improve, opportunity to uh, address a need in market. That said, again, the economic atmosphere, definitively going to impact that perception, right? Could, could, could they do enough? I, I, I'm not certain. Let's look also now at that fourth lens, which is leadership. We, we explain this leadership because of this um, extreme low trust factor in the CEO. 43% global findings in the public trust the CEO compared to 67% for an academic expert, a technical expert, which we did not ask in 2009. 
Or look at this, 15% increase in a person like myself. My Facebook page matters to me. I trust those opinions. Those are people that I know are going through the same things I'm going through, who have the same hopes, dreams, and ambitions that I do. And what they say matters. Right? So when I think about engagement, when I think about what we as marketing and communications professionals must do, it's that we must create engagement of these third-party voices, right, in terms of being able to advance the objective of the enterprise. Let's look at your number. Your number's in market, informed publics again, 